What is going on YouTube fam and Flex Squad? It is your boy Dylan Flex and you guys already know what today is. It is Flex Friday, but before we start that guys, make sure you guys click the link in my description for the giveaway. I posted three shoes yesterday, so click the link in my description. All you guys have to do is follow my YouTube, Dylan Flex, and my store, Capital Vegas, so make sure you do that. Everybody has been writing me that we have to train legs, so today is the day. Guys, you cannot build that body that you guys want to unless you have these legs. I'm gonna show you the best leg workout and it starts right now. It is so important to warm up your legs, guys. I'm gonna show you how I warm up and it's with leg ascensions, so let's jump into it. It's so important to warm up your knees and to get blood into there. This is what I like to do. I like to do anywhere from three to four sets of this, 12 to 15 reps, and this is something you guys have never heard me say, but I'm gonna say it now. I like to lock out. I'm gonna show you how and why I do it right now, so let's go. All the way up, guys, I squeeze and I lock out. I feel the quads. I go all the way down, I'm controlling the negative. Squeeze on the way up. I lock out, I go all the way down, guys, slow and steady. You know, I see so many people, guys, doing this, and they're jerking the weight, and they're going too heavy, and they're not controlling, and they're not squeezing those quads, guys. This is so important, so I go all the way up, and I squeeze, control the negative down, I go all the way up, squeeze, exhale, and I'm gonna do anywhere from 12 to 15 reps on this, just to warm up the knees to get ready and to get started for this workout. On my third set, this is something I like to do, and this is something that you guys are not gonna see anywhere else, but this is special for you guys. So I go all the way up on here, I go halfway down. See, I'm working the top part of the quads. Tricks and tips that you guys will not see. I'll even hold it for 10 seconds, guys. I'm really squeezing. Now I'm gonna work the bottom half of the muscle. Squeezing, guys. This is what really gets those cuts, those striations. I'll even put my toes in when I go up. I'll put my toes out. This is one of those finishing workouts to get you ready for this workout. And I'm gonna show you guys right now the bread and the butter. We're gonna go get squats, so let's get it. All right guys, so we're at the squat rack now. This is the heart and soul of a leg workout. If I had to pick one leg workout, this would most definitely be the leg workout. This is great for sports, endurance. This is the workout. I'm gonna show you guys how I squat. I see so many people hurting their backs, their knees, so let's jump into it. Keep my feet shoulder width. I go down, guys. I go parallel down. I don't go too low down because it hurts your knees if you go too low. I go up and I do not lock out. I keep constant tension on my quads. I don't give it time to rest and I'm down, parallel, up, breathe. Do not lock out your knees. You guys will feel the burn immediately. Up, I go down. I'm gonna do anywhere from 10 to 12 reps on this, guys. And I'm gonna increase the weight as we go on. Up, breathe, exhale. Up, back is arched, my knees are good. Down, I'm already feeling the burn. Up. So we're gonna do three sets of that, increasing the weight. Make sure you guys don't go too low. It puts a lot of stress on your knees and do not lock out your knees. It hurts your knees, guys. So make sure you do this workout right. I'm gonna show you guys another great compound movement for legs. And it's like I told you before, it is so important to hit the legs from all different angles, guys. That's how you grow these legs the fastest. Another important thing that I don't show you guys, people just kind of jump in when the seat's here. Make sure the seat, guys, is according to your body. I've seen so many people hurt their backs with the chair being up too forward or too low. I'm gonna show you how to do the leg press. And there's a couple variations I wanna show you as well. I keep my feet shoulder width. I go up. And I don't lock out my knees, guys. I go down parallel. I go up, squeeze. And the greatest thing is, I'm turning my toes out now which works more inner thigh. I'm gonna increase the weight as I do the three sets. I'm gonna show you guys a great inner thigh workout that I like to incorporate in my workouts as well. Okay, so now we're jumping in to inner thigh. If you are fortunate enough to have a machine like this, this inner thigh machine, first you guys look at me, you're like, wait, I only see girls do this machine. Wrong. This is a really neglected muscle for inner thighs and I'm gonna show you how it's done right now. I squeeze in, I don't let the machine touch because I want to keep tension on those inner thighs. I go out, I don't let the weight touch, I squeeze. I do anywhere from 12 to 15 reps on this as well. Whew. That burns right there. To really complement the inner thighs, we're gonna jump immediately now into an outer thigh machine. And you guys, I know what you're thinking, Dylan, that's a girl's workout, is it? Wrong, guys. After doing this, my squat increased weight. Same thing, guys, I go up. 
I do not let the weights touch. I squeeze every single rep like this, and you feel it right here on this outer thigh. Exhale. Control the weight the whole time. You're in control. Can't do anymore. I'm doing half reps, guys. Those partials, that's what really gets it. Ooh. Down. Ooh. After those inner thighs and after this outer thigh, you definitely feel the burn for this. Okay, so if we're talking about leg workout, no leg workout is complete without the leg curl, guys. The leg curl is like the bicep of this. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, and I'm gonna show you the proper way right now. All the way up, and I squeeze. I go back down like this. You guys gotta make sure you stretch, just like the bicep as well. I'm gonna do anywhere from 12 to 15 reps on this. I squeeze every rep on the way up. Slow on the way down, I control the negative. All right guys, so after that lying leg curl, you guys are really starting to feel the burn. You guys are really starting to get those results. We are now gonna jump into a great one too. This is called lunges. I'm gonna show you guys the proper way. The order that we have this in gives you that edge. This is the smart way to do this order. So try this order guys and let me know what you think. We are now gonna do lunges and I'm gonna show you guys how it's done, so let's go. I don't go too low. I see people putting their knee down here. Guys, don't, don't do that. Keep constant tension on those legs. Keep the weights down, one after the other. Breathing, keeping my back straight, keeping constant tension on the quad, the glute, and the ham. I'm gonna do 10 back now. I'm keeping constant tension on the leg. One after the other. Whew. Whew. So after you're doing three sets of that, 10 that way, and then 10 back, your guys' legs are on fire. Your glutes, your hams, your quads. This is called working smart, and this is why we have it in that order, because we're gonna win, and we're winners. So after we finish hamstrings, quads, and glutes, we're gonna now jump into calves. Luckily for you guys, you don't have to talk during this leg day, because you guys know how grueling and how much energy you have to spend during legs. But for you guys, I do anything and it's Flex Friday. I'm gonna show you guys calves. There's three angles I really like to hit on this. So let's jump into it and let's get these calves big. I go all the way down, guys. I stretch. I squeeze on the way up. I go out with my toe. I squeeze up, same thing. All the way down. I go up. I'll move my toes now inner, guys. Once I move my toes inner, that hits the outer part of the calf. See, this is stuff that people don't do. They just kind of go straight and they just go up with it. No, we are controlling the weight. We are keeping constant tension. This is called that mind and muscle on the calves, guys. We go up, we go down, we're breathing. Now your calves are just on fire. I'm gonna do 10 forward, 10 inner, 10 outer. By the time you guys are done with your calves, you're gonna be walking a little funny. I'm gonna show you guys now, if you don't have a machine like this, I'm gonna show you a great way how to isolate the calves. All right guys, so it is so important you work your calves, because your quads and your legs can only look as good as your calves, so it's so important that you guys do calves right. Now this is a really cool workout. If you guys don't have these machines, you can do this at your house. You can do this off a step, you can do this on your staircase. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Same thing, keep my toes off the ledge. I squeeze on the way up. I go slow on the way down. Now I'll even switch my toes, guys. Outer works more inner. I'll switch. Now inner works more outer of the calf. Like I said, you guys are lucky you don't have to talk because my calves are fired right now. I'm walking a little funny. And that is it for Flex Friday. And you know, the coolest thing about Flex Friday is that it's not just about making you look good, which I know you guys will look good. It's about bringing positivity into your life. It's about feeling confident. It's about telling and showing you guys that you can do anything that you set your heart and your dreams to, even if that is opening up a sneaker boutique or anything in your guys' dreams. I'm gonna keep doing giveaways and I'm gonna keep giving back to you guys. And I thank you guys so much for staying with me on this journey. Thank you guys so much for the positivity when it comes to my store, Capital. And if you guys have not already, join the Flex Squad! Man, I just wanna go flex, hold on my teeth and on my neck.